if your response to God now that you understand the gospel you see we understand that this thing is a process right some of us the reason why we came to this church which is not bad is because the church does not believe in tithe because for you that's an opportunity for you to keep your money to yourself Jesus says where your treasure is there you have to be. So we can see where you are, what you are spending your money on and see where your heart truly is. It's not by saying, Jesus, I love you. Thank you for what you did for me. I love you. I love you. It goes beyond that. One of the indicators of your love for God is what you spend your money on. The guys in the New Testament didn't give tithe. But did you read that they had a culture they would sell their land and carry everything and drop in church. And they didn't do it checking what is the pastor using it for. You know, some of you want to wait until the pastor says, come and bring money. So you now give like, you know, I'm doing him a favor. When was the last time you saw a need in church and without being told, you just said, let me do this. Because you understand that you're not giving to a man. You're giving for the advancement of the kingdom. The same gospel that transformed your life. The same gospel that you say blessed you. The same Jesus you just said that you're grateful for. For dying for you. Some of you are in relationships. You know how much you spend on your girl. Because you love her. And that is not bad. For those of us who are married, you know how much you spend. Because you love your spouse. But God is the only person we say we love and our money does not show that we truly love him. We show, we show up in church once a week. Once a week and give him something, you know, just, just to keep, keep you going, Lord. Just take some 10,000 10, there. That's for those who give up to that. How much is our offering? This is not what he told me to do. But if we check what your money is going for and the gospel is not there then you don't really love God as much as you say you do if we listen to these things we're listening and it makes us selfish we, we have not truly understood it did you see the Macedonian church say they gave themselves first to God when you've given yourself to God everything you own is easy to give it's easy. So if the reason why you chose this church is because we don't, they don't believe in tithe, that's good. <laughs> that's the beginner's face. Right from when I was in school, I give my tithe consistently. And every time I do it, I tell God, I say, thank you for the privilege to be a partner in your work. I'm not doing it out of, I'm cursed. No, I'm not. So there's nothing wrong with you giving, tw- those guys gave 100 so if you even give 10, it's a little below the pattern that we saw in the New Testament. So let's not believe that Jesus died for us and hold back on some part. And the natural response to hearing this thing is coming to a point of surrender. I mean, if he bought you, you don't understand. He says he bought you with a price. It's not like you came to God, like our pastor would say. You didn't come to God. He says he bought you. So the one who bought you owns everything you have. But then he says, I give it to you. Let me see your stewardship. We don't show it. We don't. Messages like this that we receive here have made many of us very selfish. Now we have some scripture to justify our selfishness. That's, that's what we do. Now you have scripture. Because you see, sometimes when, when, when I see people under the law, some, some people get the kind of preachers they deserve. Some people will never give except they are manipulated. Never. You come to a church meeting, they say there's a need in church. People, people don't come out. Come and say, if you don't want to die before 2021, sow a seed of, I, I was just, myself and someone went for a program like four years ago. We are chased out of a church because we are ministering to people without telling them to pay. The woman was telling us, say, you don't just minister to people freely. As they are going, you tell them, you sow a seed of 70,777 naira to make your, your healing pa- perfect. If pastor is doing that in this church, 
somebody brought someone to church one day and the person said, <laughs> you know, members were given because they were manipulated and the man was like, so people come to church with money like this. He was shocked. Because he, he has checked what they give every day. And he said, wow, so people come, like not the one that they said they will go and bring go and come back. Like there, right there. See, if you love Jesus, your treasure would show it. So I'll give us one minute this morning. If, you, if this gospel has made you selfish, you have one minute to repent. If the things we hear have gotten us to a point where we don't even care any longer. I mean, how do you come to a church and you say you're a part of a family? What goes on in it is not your business. Because the gospel supplies everything the church needs. And what we don't know is that in being selfish, we pass up an opportunity for us to be blessed. Because when you give, you're not doing God a favor. You're not. It's to your benefit. So I surrender all to you. in view of your mercy because that's what the whole essence of presenting our bodies is about is when we think about your love your grace your mercy our natural response is just to present ourselves to you and thank you for the minds you're changing now thank you for the mindsets you're shifting thank you Lord we give you glory thank you for our pastor thank you for the gift that you have given us in him thank you for the words that you keep giving unto him every time we come we can truly say we live here changed we live here transformed thank you we ask lord that greater levels of insight greater levels of insight we ask that you strengthen him all, on all sides in the areas of his life where he needs encouragement we ask that you encourage him and also we ask that you make us men men that would carry his burden and not have him carry it alone we give you glory we give you praise for in jesus mighty name we've prayed